Good morning everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a morning update, taking a look at what the U.S. stock market futures are looking like with about 45 minutes left to the market open here on April 3rd of 2019. And we're also going to be breaking down some stocks that I'm personally watching on Think or Swim here in a couple of minutes. But before we do, let's just hop over here to the CNN business uh, website here, money.cnn.com, so we can see where the U.S. stock market futures are. So let's refresh this once for the sake of this video so we can get a more updated, um, you know, uh, what's it called? price here, the S&P 500 right now is up about $17.50, up 0.6% here pre-market hours. The NASDAQ's up about $50, up about 0.65%, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average here, guys, is up $133, up half a percent here with about 45 minutes left to the market open. So, the futures right now, guys, they're telling me that the markets want to gap up here in the market open, and we could potentially see a rally here today. So let's hop over here to the Think or Swim platform, hop over to the SPX very quickly, which is the S&P 500, and talk about some technicals very, very quickly. And if you guys watched my video yesterday, this is going to be a little bit of a recap, but let me just spend a minute or two on this. So we saw yesterday how the S&P 500 broke above the 2860 level. Actually, that might have been two days ago if we hop here to the five day five minute. But nonetheless, we broke out of that 2860 resistance, which was a previous resistance from a couple of weeks ago. And yesterday, we had that consolidation day on top of that resistance as a new support level, right? And in yesterday's video, I was talking about a couple of different scenarios that could play out today, right? Since we had a consolidation day today or yesterday, today we could A, see another consolidation day. We could B, start to sell off, potentially break the support due to the RSI being overbought and due to every time in the past that we push to a higher high, we saw a sell-off in the coming days, or C, we would bounce on top of this level and push up and really just continue the push to the upside. And as we saw in the futures, that scenario C is what is happening right now, right? We can't, we can't see the pre-market movement here on the SPX, but it's going to look something like this at the market open, right? We can see up 17 points roughly right now. We're going to open up something like that, right? And if we go to the SPY, which is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500, you can see exactly what I'm talking about here, right? It's not the same exact chart, but again, it tracks the S&P 500. And on the SPY, we held the old resistance as a new support yesterday. We consolidated a bit, and now we can see we're popping up here uh, pre-market hours, heading into the market open here in about four. 45 minutes. So keep an eye on this, guys. Just remember, the more and more we're pushing up in the SPX and the SPY, the more and more overbought we're becoming, and the more likely it is that we're going to see a pullback in the next coming days. So Let's talk about very quickly a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching. And let's just start off with NEO stock, guys, because NEO is one that I talked about yesterday being at a very critical resistance here on the 184 hour chart that we briefly broke out of yesterday, which was at the 50 simple moving average here. And now this morning, we're actually continuing to trend up and continuing the break out of this 50 simple moving average. So the next resistance resistance to keep an eye on in terms of NEO guys is going to be a previous support which is now a new resistance since we broke since we broke below that level and that's going to be roughly at about 
$5.75. And if you guys recall in yesterday's video, I said if we are to break above $5.75, we're going to be forming a cup pattern here, kind of, right? And then the next resistance we're going to be testing is a very, very solid resistance. And if we break this resistance at about $6, which was a previous support from three to four separate occasions in the past, that's going to be a huge reversal move in NEO. And from there, who knows, guys, we could be, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Testing, maybe $7. $8 per share because again this stock has been battered down here over the past couple of months dude or really weeks due to a bad earnings report in March and uh, sl sales slow down I went deeper into that in yesterday's video again go check that one out if you didn't so I'm watching NEO this morning it's looking pretty solid here pre-market hours another one I want to talk about which is actually dumping right now which is actually not a good sign but I was looking at this one, uh, which is gold here, and gold has two ETFs we trade, which is JNUG and JDST. And the thing that I'm liking here on gold, guys, is on the 20-day, one-hour chart, the chart that you're seeing right here, this 50 simple moving average has been acting as a resistance over the past couple of trading days, right? We can see the big tank from 1325 down to about 1291 here on gold. And really, we've been getting rejected on multiple different occasions here by the 50 SMA. We can count one a couple of times here. We tried to break out of it a couple of days ago, got rejected, ultimately pushed to a lower low. And now what I'm liking, I'm sure you guys can probably see and really guess what I'm about to say, is we're finally breaking out of that resistance and we're maintaining the 1296 support again from a couple of weeks and months ago. And if I go to this longer term chart, you can see what I'm talking about here. You know, this has been a support really from, uh, you know, from uh, the beginning of January, right? An old, re uh, old resistance, now a new support. And from a couple of weeks ago, back during this time period. And if we hop back over here to the 20 day one hour, just take a look, guys, we're maintaining the 50 SMA as a support. Now, again, that same support 1296. So just keep an eye is gold going to slowly start to trend up from here possibly break these 1300 levels, maybe 1305. These are resistances we need to break out of and ultimately the 180 SMA resistance here for us to just really continue this uptrend. And honestly, if we do a little cut pattern here, I think that's very, very possible. So just keep an eye on JNUG, which again is an ETF that goes up whenever gold is going up. This could be a potential play again if we do slowly start to confirm the start of this cup pattern here. So that is one, um, you know, those are the, really the two main ones I'm watching this morning, guys, honestly, gold and NEO. Um, NVIDIA is one that we talked about in yesterday's video as well. And I'm in NVIDIA and we're actually trending up this morning. We're really at my sell uh, target price here, which was at $185 per share. So I'm most likely just going to liquidate my position here in NVIDIA once the market opens and look for a re-entry. I've been in since about 176. I added a bit more money, I believe at about 180 or something like that a couple of days ago. So now I'm up a pretty good amount of my position. And again, we hit my sell target at 185. And yeah, I just want to take the profits right now. I'm up a couple percentage points, nothing crazy, like two, three, four percent on this position right now. And I'm looking to re-enter if we do end up holding 185, or rather we break out of 185 and hold it as a new support. So then we can see whether or not we're going to start trending up towards the 190 to 200 dollar level in terms of uh, Nvidia here. So crude oil is another one I want to talk about, guys. And this one is extremely overbought. So I'd be pretty careful if I were you and you're looking to go long maybe on crude oil itself or UWT, which is an ETF that trades on crude oil because take a look guys, we're starting to see a red candlestick forming here on the longer term charts, meaning, well, we see two actually, meaning that we want to pull back a bit. We're seeing an overbought RSI here, very overbought. It hit $80 yesterday or 80 uh, points rather yesterday. And now we're starting to push down in the RSI right? We're getting back down to that 70 level. And honestly, guys, you know, this is something that 
is really overextended. And in my eyes, based on my analysis, do your own analysis, of course. Don't do, uh, you know, don't just base your decisions off my um, uh, analysis here. You know, I think we're due for a pullback here, whether it's one, two percent, one percent, half a percent, whatever it is. I think we're due for a pullback and a retest, roughly at about sixty-one dollars and fifty cents. And let's say we do get that today, right? <coughs> you know, we could end up playing DWT which is an inverse ETF to UWT, right? A DWT goes up when crude oil is selling off, and when uh, crude oil is going up, UWT is going up, right? So we can pretty much play in and out of these inverse ETFs. If we do get that pullback, we'll play DWT. If we get that retest here and a potential confirmation that we're pushing back up, you know, we can hop into UWT from there. So those are just a couple that I'm watching this morning, guys. Let's just take a look at Tesla for fun. Tesla's really just getting rejected right now by the 180 SMA. Just keep an eye on that potential breakout of this uh, downwards trending pattern that we've been talking about over the past couple of videos. I think that is pretty big here. We're seeing natural gas this morning falling down um, pretty decently as well. So D gas could be a play here, although it might be a bit too late right now to get into degas because again, we're pushing to that lower low now. It might be time to wait uh, until we start to slightly push back up again in, in order, in my opinion, to get into degas in order to open up that margin. But if we're hopping over here, we can see degas is nicely uptrending this morning. We're up near the resistances, so I'd be careful here, but it's still, it's still one to keep an eye on this morning. So that's it for this morning's update video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. If you're new to the channel, feel free to go down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are trading today. I would love to know. And while you're at it, there's going to be two videos on the screen here. Go check out some of the other videos. There's going to be one on the relative strength index and another Another one on how to become a millionaire tax-free, talking about the Roth IRA. Go check out those videos if you have time. I really do appreciate you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.